Hey guys, Kelsey here, and today I'm playing with the peel and make jelly stickers. Let me show you the pros and cons of this toy, what I liked, and what to watch for. Okay, we're going to make our paint and peel jelly stickers. Important things to note, this takes overnight to dry, which I hadn't anticipated originally. Um, and it does take the full overnight. There's no speeding that up. I tried putting it in the refrigerator um, to see if it would dehydrate it faster, and that did not work. When you open the package, you have this sort of vinyl sheet, the four colors, some googly eyes, some gems, a scraper tool, and your instructions blueprints. When you get into it, it does mention that you should not wear long sleeves with this toy because this on clothes will not come out. So that is specifically in the instruction booklet. So how to do this? There's blueprints inside the book for different creatures to create. I think I want to make this little otter. And what you're going to do is put your vinyl sheet over and then just follow the colors. So you're going to do this part. These are stackable. So you're going to do these two parts, let them dry overnight, and then stack them together. Now, when I was doing this earlier, I found it is kind of hard to get them even, so you have to be pretty gentle. And it's important to note that it should be rather thick, and I'll show you how thick I'm making mine here in just a second. So once you've put it on there, I just want you to appreciate how thick a layer I'm putting on. Because I made one prior to this just to show you the finished product. Don't judge me, it's ugly. And you can see that it's not real smooth. The texture of it is really kind of bumpy and I think I went too thin on this first one. But essentially you will build out the pieces, let it dry overnight stack them, they don't need glue, they stick to themselves, and then use the little marker that comes with your kit to draw the eyes on. And this will stick to just about anything. It's a good window cling consistency. It's not super sticky on the back, but it's good for, for books, ceramics, windows, and uh, really smooth surfaces, I think. Thanks for playing with me as I made my very own jelly sticker with the jelly sticker set. Here are my thoughts. Overnight is a long time for someone that's gonna wanna play with this. My kids' ages, eight and five. There's not a lot of patience at those ages and overnight is a long time for it to stay wet. In fact, my daughter made a few that were very thick and actually took two full days to fully cure. She was not a happy camper about that wait time. That being said, this is adorable. And I love that they can make their own stickers. It's creative. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I give it one thumbs up, maybe, maybe half. Because the risk to close is a concern here. It takes a long time to over to dry from overnight to a couple of days. And it actively says in the instructions, don't get it on your clothes, it's ruined. Um, my daughter made some messes and before I could get some paper towels to her, she was using my hand cloths that now it's in there. She also got it in her hair and I was worried that I couldn't get it out. Um, it did come out because we were on it right away and used cold water and just kept rinsing it. So that being said, it's a great idea for a toy. 
great idea for a toy. Execution for someone even as old as five, I'm just concerned about the mess factor in the permanence of ruining clothes. And then the patience, I must have been asked a dozen times if it was ready yet, and that got annoying really fast. So all in all, I give it half a, half thumbs up, half. That's all I can do. It's a great concept, but the execution just doesn't work.